Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Newman. I'd like to welcome you back today. Remember, we believe that when you change your health, you'll change your life. And our goal for you is to add years to your life and life to your years. I'd like to invite you back next week when we continue talking about hypothyroidism. Today, let's specifically address the signs and symptoms you might experience with Hashimoto's thyroiditis, again, the most common cause of hypothyroidism. First and foremost, we often will notice a swelling or an enlargement in the neck called a goiter. That's usually painless. If it gets really large, it can interfere with your swallowing. If you notice that your collar size is enlarging, you better check and see if there's a problem with your thyroid. Other symptoms you can experience with it. Most common symptom with hypothyroidism is usually weight gain. Because remember, the thyroid gland is the master gland of all things metabolic in the body. So if your metabolism slows down, you might still be taking in the same amount of food, same activity level, but all of a sudden you're accumulating extra body weight. And because your metabolism is slowing down, you're also likely to notice fatigue, loss of energy. Sometimes you can also notice a puffiness or a paleness about the cheeks or the face. Oftentimes, you can notice an increase in musculoskeletal pain. Constipation is also common. Remember, when your metabolism slows down, all the body functions slow down, so your body is not eliminating as well either. So if you're used to having the normal uh, stool or two stools a day and all of a sudden it's every three to five days, more than likely that can be a problem associated with your thyroid gland. How about feeling cold, numb, tingling in your hands or feet. In the middle of summer, you notice you need a sweater even though it's 80 degrees out. So a feeling of coldness is also a common sign or symptom of hypothyroidism. Brittle nails, brittle hair, a lot of loss of hair. In fact, thinning of the eyebrows is a common problem that you might see or develop with hypothyroidism. Because the thyroid gland is involved with your metabolism, as it slows down, uh, you might find that your get up and goes got up and went, you don't have the zest for life, you're depressed. You also might notice a slowdown in your heart rate, as well as musculoskeletal strength. When that metabolism slows down, your body fat tends to increase, your muscle tone and strength tend to decrease. Cholesterol levels, again, all things metabolic, you might see an increase in your cholesterol levels, your blood sugar levels. For the ladies, you might notice a change in your menstrual cycle. So this is just a limited list. Remember, anything that has to do with metabolism of your body functions, if they start being altered from what the norm is, the first thing you wanna do is see is it possibly your thyroid that's not functioning properly. Take a look at the blog post on our website where we go into much more detail about hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Also, remember to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and leave us any questions or comments that you have about your own personal struggles with hypothyroidism. I'd like to invite you back next week when we continue talking about hypothyroidism. This is Dr. Newman. Thanks again for watching.